Hello, it's me, Trixie Mattel, and I'm here at my hotel in London. I've been in drag since yesterday. I actually had to sleep in drag last night, so you're looking at makeup that is, um, makeup that expired about two days ago. I'm gonna show you guys what I travel with. So we recently did a video of, like, how to do Trixie Mattel makeup using makeup from CVS, but I'm gonna show you guys the stuff that I actually use and actually tour with all the time. <laughs> It's a little heavy and it's a little big. You have to think sometimes I'm on tour for like months at a time. So I need to have like multiples of everything. Honestly, I don't even know if I have anything in these pockets out here, but. <gasps> okay, so this is the tea. Last night we had a show here and I thought I forgot all my lashes. <laughs> here they are. Okay, that just goes to show maybe this bag is too big since apparently I can't even find essential items in it. I keep all my, la okay, don't be grossed out. I keep all my lashes in a little soap box. Kaki does this too. And I squirt the glue in the top half and I keep the lashes in the bottom. I wear about, this is I think 12 pairs of 301 lashes and then there's a paper set on top. So that's like my normal lashes. Okay, pro tip, clean out your makeup and uh, make sure things are where you put them. So I guess we'll just go in order of the way I do my makeup. So the first baggie, because this this um, this um bag has little bags in it. If you ever watch me do my makeup, the part that takes the longest is actually the foundation. And I use a lot of different things. So I always start my makeup, obviously with glue stick, Elmer's glue. All drag queens like live on this. And unless you have this exact brand, you really can't cover your eyebrows. So um, this is really good. I've been using this for 12 years. And then um, I always start my makeup with liquid foundation. And I'm always like bebopping between a few things. You notice I always wear foundation on my arms. Usually if it's my body, I'm wearing this, what is this? Pat Von D True Portrait Liquid to Powder, like liquid. This is pretty cool. Otherwise the MAC Pro Longwear is pretty cool. These are good because they're very transfer proof and they're like medium coverage. So when I'm wearing like a white outfit, I know I'm not gonna rub my arm on myself and get like, this one I really like. This is the Tarte Face Tape Foundation. It's like the companion to the Shape Tape Concealer. This is really good. So whenever I'm doing like my makeup, this is usually the first thing that goes on whole area first. I like liquid because it, um, before it dries, it's sort of tacky. While the eye area is tacky, I can do my eyeshadow and everything sticks. So that's really nice. This, I don't know why I have it. I, I don't really like it. We can feel this way. See, you gotta clean your bag. The real Krylon tea is these. These are the TV paint sticks. If you've ever even done drag once, you've probably tried this. Krylon TV paint sticks. So this is, I wear NB1. Is my like skin color one, this one. I use, what is this? Zero Zero. A lot of people use TV white, which is like a pink white. Zero Zero is like a yellow white. I think the yellow looks better on me because I'm so fair and I put so much blush on, I don't really need to start pink. And then this is my contour 11W. So I use these three and I pretty much do my whole face with these. This is it, this is really it. I also do a lot of my contouring with this. This is a pro face palette from MAC. It's like a little concealer palette. This is a concealer palette for very deep skin, but I use it for like, this is how I paint my nose. And I use these on my cheeks. Oh, there's glitter all over everything. I travel with four of these. These are Studio Fix powder foundations. They're like a super matte, super full coverage powder foundation. So when I'm doing my makeup, I use four different colors because I have so many different skin colors on my face. So this is what I use. I use uh, Shivering White, NC10, NC35, and N9. And like that's what I use to do the lightest parts of my face and the darkest parts of my face. I have some stuff that I'm not really, I don't, I don't really know if it works. I'm 50-50 on setting sprays in general, but I have the Scandinavia makeup primer sprays, the little ones, and they're fine. They're just chilling. Oh, this is the Jeffree Star Liquid Frost. This is really fierce. This is the Frozen Peach. If I'm ever doing highlight, let's do it. I'll do like a... Because I'll do the liquid first and then I'll go on with the frost. Like this is Whisper of Guilt from MAC. I've had this for like, girl, no less than five years. And then I'll like set that and look at that. Oh. And then blushes. I only travel with a few of these. I have a... Uh, 
This is Pinch of Peach from MAC, I'm sure. It's a sheer tone blush that's like medium sheer coverage. This is, um, You've Got Me Feeling. This is from the MAC Mariah Carey collection. This is so old, but every makeup artist I've ever met who is like somebody I like and respect is like, they always talk about this blush. This is my little Morphe sponge. This sharp edge is so good for what I'm doing, my little cheeks. It's really lit. My Trixie Cosmetics are like little plain jars because this is like the lab samples from when I was originally. Like this is my Malibu. I don't have the real one. You guys, I've talked about this already. You guys know I love these um, NYX liners. Don't ask me why I have 50, but this is the black and the white <laughs> NYX liners. I have so many. I don't know why I have like three of each, but they're $5. That's probably why. Oh, my little sharpeners. These are great. These are from Alcone, New York. They're like, don't quote me on this, maybe like $2 and they're so sharp. I've had these for at least three years and they're extremely sharp. This is my Krylon Multi Gel. It's like a, a blue glitter gel so that I can put my Malibu on with it. It's pretty good. Oh, I got some little liners. Um, I use my liquid liners, especially when I'm doing the very points of my, like, or some of the drawn lashes, or when I'm doing, like, carving out my little lid shape. This one is the, what is this? The Kat Von D Tattoo Liner, and this is fine, but bitch, this one, this, Kat Von D Dagger Tattoo Liner. This one, the, the tip of it's like a chisel. It's really good for getting like a really precise, clean line. This is really good. I have like four of these. Oh, Duo Lash Glue. I actually don't use this on my lashes. I used to, but it's not really strong enough anymore. This is just good to glue stuff to your face because it's colorless and latex and dries really fast. This is gross, but this is a uh, Maybelline Great Lash. This is not my favorite, but for me, when I'm putting my big crazy lashes on, I just need something that makes my lashes black. And this just like makes them black and I can move on with my life. Cause what is this, like three bucks? <laughs> with mascaras, I'm always trying stuff. So I usually go out to like the drugstore or the department store and I'll pick up like five or 10 mascaras at once, all different ones, because I'm always just trying to try new ones. Pencils, let's see, this is, Edge to Edge for MAC. This is like a rosy kind of color, like a rosy brown. I have two of these, full size. Some of these pencils, I'll go in and buy like just four or five of the same. Like here's another Edge to Edge. I probably have four of these. Cause if I can't find it, I just open a new one. Ooh, Talking Points, this is a good pencil. Oh, these um, Makeup Forever pencils are so good. They kind of look like little color pencils. These are so beautiful. I have like five of these. You can probably learn from the way drag queens pack their makeup by packing products that have a lot of different uses. A lot of the stuff in your makeup bag does all kinds of stuff you don't think it could do. I mean, some of these lip pencils I even use on my brows. Especially if you're just starting out, get products that you know you can use for a lot of different things because you're gonna be happier with it. You can tell there's some things that I really like because I have like 10 of them. I probably have 40 of these. This is NYX Liquid Suede Tea and Cookies. Oh my God, I love this product. It's like a, um, like a liquid lipstick that never feels dry. I'm kind of over liquid lipsticks because I don't like the, the super dry feeling. I just said I don't like liquid lipsticks, but I do have a lot of them. Oh, this is Barbara from Sugar Pill. I wish we still made this. I love this color. This is like the Trixie Mattel color that I did last year with Sugar Pill. Jeffree Star Soft Serve, beautiful. Jeffree Star Diva, beautiful. Jeffree Star I'm Nude. This is still good to put like mix with other things. Doll Parts, beautiful. Drug Lord, this is my like white lip color that I use with everything. Oh my God, look. So I already have this on, watch. And like it adds highlight. You see that? Ooh, this is um Sugar Pill Girl Crush. This is so beautiful. This is like a super hot, like blue pink. I got MAC Divine Divine and um, Personal Statement. Anastasia Party Pink and Rio. This is uh, a Kat Von D lipstick. This is a white one called White Out. This is a MAC Pro Longwear Lip Cream and Dress It Up. I love these like, when it's a pink, but it's also kind of gray. Like a, like a pink you'd wear to the bank. I love a color like that. Like a cool pink. Ooh, this is um the Kat Von D Divine Lipstick. This is about as brown as I get for lipsticks. I love this color. And then of course, my Stacy. This is one of the original samples of it, so mine doesn't even have a label, but look how much I've gone to town on that one. I love this product. This is so beautiful. And then this is like my holy grail lip liner that I just found in this bag. I will literally go into MAC and buy 10 of these. This is Soar Lip Pencil, S-O-A-R. Should they have called a lip product Soar? Like a sore on the lips? Probably not. We have a lot of palettes here. 
This Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes Palette is so good. I mean, I do my whole face with this. Like I can do my brows with these colors. I can do my eyes with these colors. I do my cheeks and my contour my face with these colors. I do my whole head with this. I got my Jeffree Jawbreaker palette. I don't use it that much, but then I think if I travel with these, I might actually like bust it out once in a while. I use the blue a lot. You can tell I've dipped into this soaked color a lot. I use bubble gum as a blush a lot. Oh, my little sugar pill palette. They started making these little half ones. Look. Oh, this little sugar pill fun size palette. So cute. I could probably retire the other one and just carry this because it's so little. It's so pretty. It's like one of those little Krylon three palettes. It's like a white shadow, a black shadow, and a uh, neutral. I do this all the time. I use these on my face, use this under my eyes. Um, sometimes I wet this and use it as liner because um, it works. This is my Anastasia palette. And you can tell I just stuck some shadows in here. Most of these are Anastasia. I think these are MAC. If I had to pick one palette of all of these, I'd probably pick this because I can do my eyes and my brows with all this. And then um, usually for like every five days, I do neutral eye makeup, I do blue eyes. And this is Electric Eel and Atlantic Blue from MAC. And I usually use that to do like a nice blue. Oh, polishes. Most of the time I uh, paint my own nails because I play guitar in my shows, so I can't wear fake nails. So let's see what I'm working with currently. Pep Abysmal from the Trixie Mattel Ice Cream Nails Collection. Love, beautiful. Oh, I love this. This is uh, Sally Hampson Insta Dry Nail Colors. These are so good. Ice Cream Nails, Millions of Peaches. So beautiful. I love these like pastel colors. Look at it exploded. This is my OCC Femme. This is so beautiful. This is Sally Hansen uh, Quick Dry in Pink Blink. This is usually the last thing I do. So I'm in full drag, just like you see now. And then right before I go on stage, I'll be like, and then finally, this is one of my favorites. This is called Pony Ride from Ice Cream Nails. It's like a, a gray pink metallic. I love this. And because it's a metallic, I feel like when I'm on tour, if I get a chip from playing my guitar, I can fix it and it doesn't look really obvious. Perfumes. I only travel with a few, even though I love, love perfumes. This is a MAC Turquatic, but the topper is from MAC Candy Yum Yum, because I'm struggling. I've been wearing this oh, for like, I'm gonna drown you guys a little bit. Probably like eight years because this is the only perfume that I can wear that if I get out of drag and still smell like this, I don't feel like I smell like a woman. I feel like I smell kind of like neutral. And this is so weird. I think you can only get this in the UK. This is Impulse Burnt Marshmallow and Leather Jacket. I know it doesn't sound good, but a fan gave this to me once and I've been buying it ever since. It really smells like a burnt marshmallow and a leather jacket. What do we have here? Two more sprays. I have my uh, finishing spray from Scandinavia. I'd say of all the setting sprays, these are the only ones that I think like maybe really do something. And then this, when I'm like out of drag, the Scandinavia post makeup spray. I mean, when I get out of drag, sometimes my face feels so dry. And this, um, once I have my makeup off, just makes me feel like I'm putting moisture back in my face. And that's what's in my bag on the road. Uh, as you can see, sometimes I have entire items that I don't even know are in there. But a lot of this stuff has been in here on tour with me for years. This is kind of the greatest hits, like stuff that I'll buy over and over again. Check with me in six months. I'll probably have completely different items in here. Thank you so much. Goodbye.